Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines, ages 5 to 11 years. Did you know? The Public Health Agency of Canada, in association with the Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology, the Healthy Activity Living and Obesity Research Group of the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario, and Participation have developed physical activity guidelines for Canadians. These guidelines can be used as a way to maintain a healthy lifestyle and enhance your quality of life. Please consult with your healthcare provider before beginning any new physical activity routine to be sure it is safe for you. Not sure what qualifies as physical activity? Physical activity is movement that increases heart rate and breathing or any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure. The physical activity guidelines describe the amount and types of physical activity that offers substantial health benefits for Canadians. What is sedentary behavior? They are postures or activities that require very little movement. Some examples include prolonged sitting, watching television, playing passive video or computer games, extended time spent on the computer, and motorized transportation. Sedentary behavior guidelines describe the recommended amount of time that Canadians should reduce their involvement in sedentary pursuits in order to reduce health risks. Moderate intensity physical activity. On a scale relative to an individual's personal capacity, moderate intensity physical activity is usually a five or a six on a scale to 10. As a rule of thumb, if you're doing moderate intensity activity, you can talk but not sing your favorite song during the activity. You're working hard enough to raise your heart rate. Vigorous intensity physical activity. On a scale relative to an individual's personal capacity, vigorous intensity physical activity is usually a seven or eight on a scale to 10. If you're doing vigorous intensity activity, you will not be able to say more than a few words without pausing for a breath. Your heart rate has gone up quite a bit. Moderate to vigorous physical activity is a combination of moderate and vigorous intensity activity. This is what you're aiming for to meet the guidelines. Energetic play. This is similar to moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity, but it's more appropriately contextualized for the way that young children move. It refers to activities for young children that gets them working hard, breathing heavily, and feeling warm. For children 5 to 11 years of age. For health benefits, children aged 5 to 11 years should accumulate at least 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity daily. This should include vigorous intensity activities at least three days per week, activities that strengthen muscle and bone at least three days per week, and more daily physical activity provides greater health benefits. Parents and caregivers can help to plan their child's daily activity. Kids can play tag or freeze tag, go to the playground after school, walk, bike, rollerblade, or skateboard to school, play an active game at recess, go sledding in the park on the weekend, or go puddle hopping on a rainy day. Let's talk intensity. Moderate intensity physical activities will cause children to sweat a little and to breathe harder. Activities like bike riding or playground activities. Vigorous intensity physical activities will cause children to sweat and be out of breath. Activities like running or swimming. Being active for at least 60 minutes daily can help children improve their health, do better in school, improve their fitness, grow stronger, have fun playing with friends, feel happier, maintain a healthy body weight, improve their self-confidence, and learn new skills. 60 minutes a day. You can help your child get there. Did you know? There are also guidelines for sedentary behaviors, which are activities that require very little movement. Some examples of sedentary behaviors include watching TV, playing video games, or sitting for a prolonged period of time, either at school 
or work. Trying to break up periods of inactivity throughout your day is one of the best ways to keep on track with your healthy lifestyle goals. For children 5 to 11 years of age. For health benefits, children aged 5 to 11 years should minimize the time they spend being sedentary each day. This may be achieved by limiting recreational screen time to no more than two hours per day. Lower levels are associated with additional health benefits. And limiting sedentary transport, extended sitting, and time spent indoors throughout the day. The lowdown on the slowdown. What counts as being sedentary? Sedentary behavior is time when children are doing very little physical movement. Some examples are sitting for long periods, using motorized transportation, such as a bus or a car, watching television, playing passive video games, or playing on the computer. Spending less time being sedentary can help children maintain a healthy body weight, do better in school, improve their self-confidence, have more fun with their friends, improve their fitness, and have more time to learn new skills. Try active transportation. Instead of driving, walk to school with a group of kids from the neighborhood. Try active play. Limit after school TV watching. Plan time outdoors instead. Try active family time. Instead of video games in the evening, introduce the family to a new active game. There is no time like right now for children to get up and get moving. How can parents help for children 5 to 11 years of age? David is the single parent of seven-year-old Josie. David knows they both need to be more active, so he is making an effort to schedule more active time for them together and to encourage Josie to play hard at recess. Josie was able to fit in at least 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day of the week. David was able to sneak in some activity of his own at the same time. On Sunday, David and Josie run and play catch outside in the afternoon for 60 minutes. On Monday, Josie plays tag at recess for 15 minutes. Then Josie plays with the neighbor's dog after school for 15 minutes. Then David goes for a run and Josie bikes beside him before dinner for 30 minutes. On Tuesday, Josie plays tag at recess for 15 minutes. Then Josie goes to the park with neighbors for 45 minutes. On Wednesday, Josie has gym class at school for 30 minutes. And then David and Josie play basketball in the driveway after school for 30 minutes. On Thursday, Josie plays tag at recess for 15 minutes. Then David goes for a run and Josie bikes beside him before dinner for 45 minutes. On Friday, Josie plays active games with her class for 30 minutes. Then Josie goes to the park with neighbors while David has his weekly soccer game for 50 minutes. On Saturday, David and Josie organize a soccer game with the neighbors after lunch for 60 minutes. Alex, age 10, recently attended a birthday party held at the Martial Arts Center. He loved it. His parents signed him up, even though he had never wanted to sign up for any sport before. He and his friends now play martial arts-based games at recess and in the park. His parents also encourage him to bike or walk instead of getting a drive. Alex is able to get at least 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity each day, even though he's not a huge sports fan. He just had to find something he liked. On Sunday, Alex does martial arts in the afternoon. On Monday, Alex bikes to the park to play with friends after school. On Tuesday, Alex plays an active game at recess and then bikes after school. On Wednesday, Alex has martial arts in the evening. On Thursday, Alex plays an active game at recess and then bikes to the park to play with friends after school. On Friday, Alex has gym class at school and then bikes to and from a friend's house after school. On Saturday, Alex plays with friends in the park after lunch and then bikes to and from the park. A blank log to get you started for children 5 to 11 years of age. 
Here is a personal weekly activity log to record the total minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity accumulated each day. Note the days that you participate in vigorous activity and the days that you do muscle and bone strengthening activities. Add them up every week and see if you're meeting the guidelines. For more information, for more information about the Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines, please visit the website at www.ccepguidelines.ca. For more information on how the Chatham-Kent Community Health Centres can help enhance your health and well-being, please visit our website at www.ckchc.ca.